Related rates, Pythagorean theorem application. So here we will take few examples uh, which are similar kind with some minor differences so that you can appreciate the difference. Now the question here is, two friends walk away from an intersection along perpendicular roads. So let's think like this. These are our perpendicular roads. If their walking speed is 4 km per hour and 5 km per hour respectively, then determine the rate at which the distance is changing between them after half an hour. So that's interesting. So let's think about it like this. That is the intersection and friend, they just go in this direction and in that direction. So these are perpendicular roads, correct? So at any instance of time, what is going to be the distance between them? So for example, the distance between them at this instance of time will be kind of like this, correct? So that is the distance between them. Now, you will notice if the road is perpendicular, then we can relate these two sides with the third side using Pythagorean theorem. So therefore, in the title I have written Pythagorean theorem application. Related rates since it is related to walking speed of the two persons. Do you see? Distance is related with speed of walking. That is how it is. So let's say that they are walking with a speed of 4 kilometers per hour. Let's say in this direction, person walks with a speed of 4 kilometers per hour and 5 kilometers. In, in this direction, 5 kilometers per hour. Then determine the rate at which distance is changing between them. Then we want to find how is this distance changing between them. This is what we need to find. Okay. So what we can say is at any instance, let this be x in this triangle and let this be y. Then how is distance related with x and y? So we know distance square equals to x square plus y square. That is how distance is related with these two variables in a right triangle. So we'll kind of give you a very simple straightforward solution which is kind of general and then we'll plug in the values and get the answer. Okay. Now this is varying with respect to time. right? So let's differentiate this equation with respect to time. So if you differentiate this with respect to time, what do we get? So we get 2 times d times d of d, do you understand distance over dt, right? That's interesting. Derivative d dt of d, the distance, okay? So normally we take s as a variable so that we avoid this d d term, right? Anyway, so this will be 2x dx dt. I hope this is clear, right? Plus 2y dy dt. So that is how your equation will always turn out to be. So we haven't really used anything from the given question. You'll appreciate that part, right? The question says the rate at which the distance is changing between them. That rate of that means we want this dt dt, right? D dt of d. This is what we want to figure out how much by how much is it changing. Correct? Now, so that is your general equation. Now, as you can see, along x, rate of change is the speed with which the person is going, right? So we know from here that dx dt is 4, right? And dy dt is actually 5. Do you see that? So we know x and y. Now, when we say if they are walking at these speeds respectively, then determine the rate at which Distance is changing between them after half an hour. That is critical. So in a half an hour, how much distance will they cover? That is x and y. Do you see that? So if the speed is 4, then along the x direction, so what is x equals to? So in time is half an hour, right? Half an hour time. And speed is, let me write speed as, let me use should I write dx dt? Okay, let's write dx dt, right? Is given to us as 4. Then what is the distance travel? Distance speed into time. Do you see that? So along x-axis, that means we'll write down the values of x and y now. So what is x? 
So along x-axis, the distance traveled will be in half an hour. It is 4 kilometers per hour. Half an hour, it will be 2 kilometers, correct? For y, in half an hour, it should be half of 5 kilometers per hour, right? So it is 2.5 kilometers. Do you understand? We have used the simple distance speed time formula. Distance speed time. So distance speed into time, correct? Okay? Speed is 5 kilometers per hour and time is half an hour. So distance will be, you just multiply them and get your answer. So you get x and y values. So now in this equation, we know x, y, dy, dt, dx, dt, d, we want to know. So d is what? d is equals to a square plus b square square root. Do you get it? So it is 2 square plus 2.5 square square root. That is what it is. So you can use your calculator at this stage and do square root of within brackets 2 square plus 2.5 square bracket close equals to and you get 41 square root by 2 which we can get in decimals as d equals to 3.2 right so that is the value of d for us now we know all our values and we can find rate of change of distance between them do you see that that is d dt d dt of d okay is equals to so what we could do here we could divide them by 2 so we got rid of this and d dt is x over d dx dt plus y over d dy dt so we, we divide by 2d so we cancel 2s and then this right so ratio of x over d x is 2 d is 3.2 and dx dt for us is 4 do you get it times 4 plus y is 2.5 divided by 3.2 and dy dt is given to us as 5 kilometers per hour right now use your calculator find your answer and write it down so that is rate of change of separation between them at any instance of time so we get 8 divided by 3.2 which is 2 and a half 2.5 plus we have got 2.5 times 5 divided by 3.2 which is equals to 3.9 so let's add them up plus 2.5 and get our answer as in decimal 6.4 so the rate is 6.4 and rate is always in the units of kilometers per hour in this case Correct? So that is the answer. The rate at which the separation is increasing is 6.4 kilometers per hour. Right? I hope you appreciate the method here. So what we really did was, we first tried to understand the question, make a small sketch. So that is how they separate. Right? So what you could have done initially was also, you write all this. What is given to you? So x we assume to be 4 kilometers per per hour changing the, in x direction so we have dx dt to us right so you could write like this dx dt equals to 4 kilometers per hour dy dt equals to 5 do you see that and then calculate x in half an hour x is equals to half of this 2 y equals to half of this 2.5 and d equals to square root of 2 square plus 2.5 square square root and get it right so you got all these values then do differentiation and get your answer what we did was we started with the formula and then figured out what all we need and then got them now you understand the process so you could start in a very logical way neat and clean to get your answer so i'll give you some practice problems the next one I'd like you to answer the question yourself and then look into my suggestion. It'll be with a little twist, that is all, but exactly same thing. Okay, thank you and all the best.